am in New Zealand right now, Wellington, and uh, in this city there is two little Penang. So I'm going to try whether their Penang phone is up to a standard for a Penang man or not. So they are selling the loba, they are selling the pasambo, acha, roti, misiam, all this thing. So let's see. Oh my god, they have this uh, otta otta. Okay, let's go and check out, challenge their Penang taste. Okay, so business here is quite good and uh, I smell like Penang restaurant. So I'm gonna see whether the Penang food is really that good. Very interesting, they have a tetare. I'm not sure what is Malaysian coffee, but they have Milo dinosaur, I hear Bandung, and durian coffee. Very interesting, that uh, I think a lot of people will be have a lot of surprise. Um, for the dessert, there is a fried banana with ice cream, and then uh, nonya kueh and pandan cake. So far, the price is acceptable to me. And they have a very cute uh, menu. It looks like this, they like uh, open the door. So far, hmm, that's a Nonya platter, $14 for two. Mini curry puff, four pieces is $7. It should be something like a samosa. Persembo, $17, it's like wow. You can only get that in Penang for like maybe like uh, $3. <laughs> Krabu salad um, is a very nice uh, mango salad. Trout dollar is uh, acceptable to me. Let's see. Uh, they are so called uh, Little Penang, but they don't have Asam Laksa, so I'm quite disappointed a little bit. But uh, they have the Chakwe Tiao, they have the uh, Ota Ota, the chicken rice, and uh, Hokkien Cha. Yeah, something like a Penang thing that we will eat and yep curry dish very interesting <laughs> so if you have no idea what is what um, there are a photo of the dishes so you will literally know that how your food looks like oh so they have the asam laksa it's only available on Thursday and Saturday uh, nasi tokma I have never heard of that and then um, well, they have bakute. Oh, it's lovely to have a bakute on a cooling day. And you also can have the Hokkien Mee, which is a prawn noodle. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna order a few, then I'll let you know which one tastes good. This is a Cha Kui Tiao. It looks good and it smells good. I'm gonna give it a try. It is really good. Penang standard, but it's just a lack of some wok hay only. I'm gonna give it a full mark. Uh, out of 100, they got 95, which is like they have the bean sprout, they have the uh, what they call the lap chong, fried egg, they even have the fried radish, the we call it uh, chai po. And uh, only one of the things that my friend remind me that they don't have is a si ham, which is a uh, cocoa but it tastes really exactly like the same one I get in Penang. Amazingly, they have a very great replica of the Hokkien Mee, which is a prawn noodle. Uh, hot boiled egg, prawn, hot rib, uh, bean sprout, the white noodle and the bihun, fried shallot. The, uh, only the chili it looks a little bit different. I'm going to try the soup without the chili first. Mm, okay, this one I'll give it a 40 out of 10. It has a very bit uh, fragrant in the soup and it lack of kangkong. So one unique thing of them, they have, they'll be missing out one, uh, one ingredient or one of the main item in the dish. But um, it still looks very good.